Bet you weren't planning to die today, boy. But I don't want to die. There has to be a way. Oh, quit trying to act calm. It's that girl. Ha <laughs> ha! So you're the visitor I heard about. This guy's no fun. I'll kill you first! <laughs> Run! I'll rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! <laughs> You are correct, the Lord of Fire. I can't believe you were able to summon him. That wasn't too bad. Excellent. Whoa. I told you to go home. Don't tell me you live here. No, of course not. I'm sorry. Uh, uh... Is this the work of the Spyrex? The what -ix? Could it be connected to the disappearance of the lesser spirits? Huh? You're losing me. Disappearing spirits? You really need to go home. Someone might not swoop to your rescue next time you're in trouble. The Spyrex must be somewhere else. Hey, wait! I'm kinda trapped here. If the Professor were with me, they might have let me leave, but... Can I come with you? <laughs> I see. If you stick with the person who saved you, then you won't need any more saving. Clever boy. Boy? You don't look that much older than me. My name is Jude Mathis. I'm Mila. Mila Maxwell. My hands are still shaking. And for good reason. You were almost killed. I'm a civilian. Why would she attack me like that? I don't think she's part of Rashigal's army. If she's not a soldier, then what is she doing at a military facility? An ironic question for you or I to ask, don't you think? I see your point. Did you... did you kill her? I'm not sure. I tried to go easy on her, but humans are so fragile. I keep having to tell the Four not to overdo it. I'm not really following you. Are you finished here? Huh? I assume you had some reason for coming to this place. I was worried because Professor House hadn't come back. But he's... One of the people who died while connected to that machine? Yeah. I can't believe it. The Professor had been so excited about the request from Orda Palace. I see. Hmm? Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Huh? Oh, wait for me! What's going on? Our Lilium orbs are shining. I've been wondering what this thing is since I set off. My handmaid told me I had to carry it with me. Well, it comes in handy if you face monsters. It gives you the power to fight them. I got one myself when I left home, just in case. 
So, that's how it works. This is actually my first time developing it, too. I see. So it's a tool that taps into inherent abilities. I imagine that powerless humans never leave home without them. You talk as if you're not human yourself. 